Meet Luca. <laughs> our, our Sicilian mini donkey. <laughs> he's just as cute coming as he is going. He's so playful. He's like a giant puppy dog. Had him about two years. And uh, mostly got him to keep the grass down in the back, which he does a marvelous job of. He super curious. Very curious, very rambunctious. And he is the cutest little dirt ball ever. He just couldn't have been any more adorable. He's about six months old there when we got him. He's so fluffy. Everybody took to him right away. However, <laughs> here's the problem. Anytime you're in his yard, he is at your side, in your business. He's into everything. Constantly. We think maybe the previous owner might have fed him from a wheelbarrow because anytime I take the wheelbarrow back there, his nose stays in it, makes it very difficult to get it around. And he's very jealous, not just food jealous, but attention jealous. I don't know who's more jealous, Luca or Angus. <laughs> I'm thinking I've got a lot of work to do in the back and I'm never going to get it done with him uh, supervising everything. I like that word, supervising. He does supervise it all. He's right by your side. And, makes... the, and the longer he's, I'm out there with him, the more excited he gets uh, and more aggressive he gets with me and with the goat. And I don't think he's really trying to be aggressive. I think he just is super excitable. And because he's a donkey, that's how they show that playfulness. It's just part of their nature. But it doesn't mean you want to be on the receiving end of it. Yeah, he does. Uh, you kind of want to keep your eye on him because he will bite. Again, I don't think he's trying to be hurtful. He just he gets excited, and that's the way donkeys play. We got him to keep both the grass cut down, which you can see has been very successful, but also as company for the goat because the goat uh, had a sister, and um, when we lost her, we needed company for Flo, and we thought we can get another goat or we could get a donkey, and so. We haven't regretted having this sweet little guy. We have decided, however, that we need to be able to pin him up in the barn while we're working in the back. So I'm going to build a gate and I found some old 2x4s laying around, cleaned them up a little bit, and I'm going to build a gate. Lee's figured out that working in the shop Without my help, gets things done much faster because I don't know who's more curious, me or Luca. I usually ask a million questions. Uh, for example, I'm sure you're curious right now why I'm doing this. Well, I'm <laughs> using a, a half lap joint because I don't want any, any braces in the middle. I'm going to put a wire frame in the middle and a half lap joint at the corners just will keep the shape better than any other joint and uh, I'm not going to show you all that but that's basically it you cut about halfway halfway through and then the halfway through on the other one stick them together I've got some hog panel laying around so I cut out a piece I could use an extra pair of hands right about now right about now but I managed to get through. Got a piece of the hog panel, about the size that I'm going to need. 
And all I have to do is wrap it with the two by fours, but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit first. And I did pop out into the shop when this was happening and he was wearing really nice, clear um, safety glasses. They were so clear and new, I didn't even see they were on his face, but he was wearing them, which made me very happy. That's about right. And now I can tell how deep to, uh, I want to put the panel in the middle inside the board. So I'm cutting a groove in all the boards uh, so that the panel will be right in the center. This was a very long process. My router bit's pretty dull, but I managed to get through it. is the loudest machine in the shop and arguably one of the most dangerous but sometimes it's the only one you can use can clean those up a little bit finesse than this uh, shows, but I managed to get it all put together with some clamps. The half lap is going to be a lot of glue surface. And put together with a couple of screws. That'll keep everything nice and square. Or at least in the same shape that it is when you're done. <laughs> Making a rectangle, you always check the diagonals. If they are the same, it's a perfect rectangle. As any of my geometry students could tell you. Round everything over, clean it up nice and smooth. We don't want anybody, human or donkey or goat, getting splinters. Thought I was going to sneak in and put this on, but guess who was waiting for me? The reason I used the panel is uh, I could have used some boards like the fence there, but I wanted him to be able to see all the way through and not, not feel so close to him. And we're really not going to be using this to pen either one of them. It's just when we need to get out there in the field. And if I don't have my escort with me, um, that being me, then I will not have to drag a heavy piece of plywood to prop it up in there and um, have to deal with all of that. And also, we've only had the vet out once when he had a, an injury on his leg, but we're going to have to get somebody out to show us how to trim the hooves. And, and so it's probably going to be handy to be able to keep him in the barn part. And we need to be able to keep Luca separate from Flo when we're in the pasture because we can't we can't put them both together in that in that pen, but Flo doesn't get in our way. So this will be allowing us to keep Luca separate from us when we need to get in and out of there unencumbered. So we're just trying it out here and Lucas seems to approve. It's going to give it a taste. Top and bottom. Anyway, that's our solution. And he's showing his smarts yet again. He'd already have it open if he could. 